Alright, so what we're doing in this video is I'm just going to show you how to gather your player followers. It's a pretty simple thing to do. Old school games used to do it. Usually when you've got a caterpillar of followers in, uh, following you, you can uh, just kind of merge them into your main character and let your main character take control, such as after a cutscene or whatever. Um, right now I'm just initializing a party, and you want to make sure that show player followers is checked. That'll give you that kind of caterpillar thing like in the um, old Breath of Fire and Dragon Quest games or whatever. And um, I'm just going to slap together this really corny cutscene real fast just to give you an example of how it's used in a cutscene when you like get to the end of a dungeon or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so let me just do that real quick. And what, you're one, what you want to go to do is go to Gather Followers. This will bring everybody to your main character. And then change player followers to off, which will immediately make them invisible. You can put that flag back on if you need to show them following you again. And uh, let me just show you the example. So you see there's all your party following you. And then you go to talk to the boss. Party gathers within you, and they're gone. And you can show them again, again by changing that show player followers flag back to on alright and another way this can be done is if you don't want to do it where your party is actually in a dungeon you can also have it so that they you know gather towards you after a cutscene is done or whatever so what I'm doing here is I'm just giving these player characters some really generic lines just uh, again to give you another example um, it makes it a lot easier if you do name your actual events. You see, I'm going to name these ones players one, player two, and player three for later on. So you, so it's easier to uh, manipulate this particular event, and um, you can talk to them or whatever. But um, what you need to do afterwards is have an event that I call transfer. I'm going to use a hexagram for right now, and basically. It's gonna have text saying uh, do you want to gather your party and leave and then give you two choices and basically what you're going to do is set a move route, move route for each of your three characters and turn the wait for completion off so it appears as if they're moving all at the same time and what this does is, since through is off for each of them, it will make it so that when they come into contact with your character, they can actually move right through him. And I'm also going to turn transparent to all, to on right before they merge with their character. So it actually looks like they're merging just with the gather player followers uh, event that we did in the first demonstration. So I'm just going to do that right now. And again, I usually leave, I'm going to leave the... Uh, events in the actual video description so if I'm going too fast for you whatever you can just copy what I have down in there